Hello, welcome to your view. I am Mariah Afolabi Brand. As always, I have my lovely ladies in the building. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Morning. Very well, thank you. Veronica, into bed. Yeah. Oh. have you. First of all, the new set. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's comfortable. Yes. Please tell them you're cool. comfortable. I love it, actually. Because they are saying we're Initially, not I was wondering if you guys were comfortable, but actually, I feel it, comfortable. It is comfortable, but I've been telling you. We look uncomfortable, <laughs> On Twitter. but we're actually very comfortable. That we're comfortable. <laughs> very comfortable. I'm used to it. <laughs> How are you doing, Abraji? How's your weekend? My weekend. I need a new car. An SUV. Oh. Oh. My, I, I fix my car. You have an SUV now? Yes, I need a new one. Yeah. Every week I fix my car and but I spend hundreds of thousands. My this roads are the, terrible. You have to lose roads. Are they are bad. terrible. So the I need a new car. Almost. Excuse, well, excuse me, what am I going to do with my house? house? <laughs> I like Bado. What do you say? Yes. I wonder. Move to where normal human beings. <laughs> is that, that's, is that your wife? Do I care? Do you all of you in that? I don't know what you guys are. I don't understand. I just need a new car. I'm believing God for a miracle. Yes. It can happen. Amen. Thank you, man. How are you doing, How is I'm good. Weekend? Today Anything? we are two years. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Congrats. Two years already? Good. Wow. Like yesterday. Oh, like yesterday. <laughs> wow. Oh, fantastic. Yes, so plans for tonight? Were you guys doing anything? Yeah, we went out yesterday, oh, but today sweet. we're b both busy working. Is it romantic? Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> I never even. I cannot connect romance, he's romance, so, and him. He looks like this <laughs> strong. He, is, he looks like he's not, but he is. Oh, he has changed. I am the one that didn't seem to be the romantic right. one. Right. Many yeah. fruitful years ahead. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Hi, Topsy. How was your weekend? Oh, well, my weekend. I, I spent my weekend resting because Obiadulu took my kids, and um, oh, wow, she's Aww. such a wonderful friend. <laughs> she, she played. She uh, played nanny uh, for me because I, I'm going to be traveling today. Like immediately, I leave the show i'm going straight to the airport oh, really? i have an all expense paid mm. trip to new oh, york wow. ah, i am going I to be you? speaking ah. concerning the uncommon woman in, at the transformational conference mm -hmm. for women in new york and the idea is a lot of nigerians relocate and they still face the same challenges over there and Nothing it's worse off oh. it's worse off because you don't have anybody to talk to so I, a friend of mine has experienced this and she's putting together a conference to deal with most of this migrant yeah. Who's maybe their husband moved and all that, and they're like confused on what, what is the next do. step. So it's about getting the mindset right and preparing for a future. No matter where you are, you'll be prosperous. That's two trips this year. Three. Three, 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 three trips. trips. That's yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> you will go on one. I was yeah. writing yeah. goals this year that I wanted <laughs> to go to wait. America. I, can, I didn't have the money. Can you hide me? We can use <laughs> you as a point of contact. <laughs> yes. yes. If you want to reach America, <laughs> better touch talk right there because she has gone three times this year already. Three times. Has been faithful. And I love free trips, so that's that. I'm, I'm not even paying. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm ready for people. God has blessed. I receive it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys see that video about the little kid that swallowed the the flute? Yeah. Did you see that video? See that? He, he actually he was in his um, airway. Yes. He was breathing through the flute, and they had to press him down. They, they took him to I think it was some Lagos State um, hospital. hospital to do, 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 do the kind of procedure to pull out that thing. You Ooh, can see the boy breathing goodness. through the flute. Oh you need, there are two videos. The first video was showing the boy breathing through the flute yeah. and his father was holding him and you could see that he was in pain. Hey, the next how? video, he saw, and I'm the like, of the flute, how it it's happened? It's like, like this, like it was a ball. Yes. Oh. It, he, he saw it in the ball. The ball went into this um, airway yeah. and it was just a little part of the flute that was seen outside. How old? How old? The kid, maybe like, probably like four years old. The kid. To be very Keep careful. Keep out of reach of children. Because Keep out of reach of children because it's our it's responsibility. It's not that painful, yeah. When I saw that thing, I just remember my son that swallowed coin. Remember this yes. year? Huh? That coin took five days. So we're monitoring it with the x-ray. That's come down. It is here. Up, you know, like we were looking for the it. Like this children will not kill us. Mm. Yeah. We have to be very, very careful. Very, very, careful. Yeah. very, very careful. careful. Once the children are quiet, I'm suspicious. Because Immediately. Yeah. Is you know yes. something is happening. Yes. Mm. All right. Yeah. News mentioned very quickly. The Consumer Protection Council, CPC, has advised cause consumers to extensively parboil their beans before consuming it. Mm. Just for the accident, the issue that went around sniper. Very, uh, sniper sniper. Mm. Well, yeah, and, and I think Meringue gave us an advice. Mm. So, okay, so overnight, overnight yeah. mm -hmm. by the morning, you see all the oils and all the stuff in the morning, you just mm -hmm. wash it up. You don't necessarily have to soak it overnight, what because even soak. as soon as you soak it, you see just no. some minutes. Yeah, right. My husband wanted to soak He's beans, okay. he wanted to eat beans, and he was soaking, and suddenly he started seeing the oils. Mm. That oil, they said yes. we should that one out. So, so ask we had to throw it away. Oh. Yes. Immediately, okay. we keep That's learning every day. Unfortunately, let's take a break now. I wish we could banter on this bin stain a bit more. When we come back, we're going to go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
All right, let's start with the punch. PDB flays violence search of Atiku's plane. Documents um, by security agents. Search aimed at intimidating me, says Atiku. Picture here of Jakonde Estate in Aja, Lagos State. Really, really dreadful, dreadful view. Salary increase won't solve civil, um, civil servants' problems, says Duke. Police reveal how Togo Lee's cook killed credit switch chairman. Federal government includes, concludes work on 2019 budget. We have begun process to extradite design, it says EFCC. Brought vehicle in auto crash, ADC hospitalized. Alleged breach of contract, Imo APC governorship candidate arrested, Uzodima. That's, Uzodima was arrested. Yeah. Okay, let's take the, the Togolese story. So uh, the Lagos State Police Command, as a result of their investigations, have found out that the Togolese guy actually killed the his boss. Yeah. So he took advantage of the fact that the wife was not available. He, she went to the bank to <coughs> run some errands and then entered his room and asked him, I'm not, and told him, I'm not here to kill you. I just want you to give me according money, to him. according to him. <laughs> so he said that the, the man said he didn't have any money. And then they, he tied him up, left him on the floor, and then they had a struggle. Yeah. As a result of that, the knife he was hiding in his pocket fell out. And then accidentally, according to him, he stabbed the man. So police, the police are investigating it and more Imagine. facts are All coming out. All the stories out. he was saying. I mean, the, you know, there was an initial video where he was saying that there were four mm. men that came into the house. No, it was just him. It was it just, just him. Just, yeah, goodness, really, really seriously. Really I'll take the Donoduk story. So Donoduk was speaking um, in Cross River and he mentioned that this fire brigade approach to solving civil servants problem, the payments, the salary increase wouldn't change the problem and that our government should focus on meeting the everyday needs of civil servants and gen public generally, creating food, providing security, providing access to transportation and good health care, right. that these are the real problem and that there should be a structured salary review right. at yeah. a specific period to yeah. guard against the inflation, but that they shouldn't just do this quick fix. Yeah. Just fire brigade yeah, solution. Fire brigade solution. Well. Um, I was going to take the front page of this, uh, this picture, but it's really sad. Jack on the estate yes. in Ajay is really, really sad. See how so deplorable the state it is. Mm. Moving we found on. lack of maintenance. Moving on now to the nation of Baseki backs of Shomale against Amosu and Okorocha. Picture here of politicians smiling and giggling, wise cracks as Samolu Agbaje party in Lagos that attended a wedding. Mm -hmm. Talks on Access Bank to acquire Diamond Bank. PDP minister a disagree over search of Atiku's plane. How Undo chief was killed by suspect. And ASU federal government team OK's student loan. All right, that, yes, yes, that ASU. Yeah. Um, issue uh, the the negotiating team is agreeing to have a student loan that the federal government alone cannot handle the funding mm -hmm. of universities and so they are looking at okay having a bank that will you know service, service students, students loans, loans oh. so that so as to help them well, the banks the also guarantee employment after because if i don't give you it's just a student loan so loan is different yeah. now yeah. Ah. No, I'm, I'm just, I, I understand this in other countries the way it works, it works but i'm just okay. saying that you know, if there's opportunity for, if I know that I'm going to work and I'll pay back this money, you've already provided me a platform where you would, I'll get employment. There are percentage of employment. What, well, what do you know that? You know that? Do you know that? In the next five years, we're not need as many bankers as like, like exactly. we do now. Exactly. Everything is automated so now. So we need a, so a set of different. So it's skills, not about so them being giving them opportunities to work in the bank. It's just, it's just and they pay the back loan the loan. They, they have they jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will yes. help them pay back the loan. All right. Major headlines. So Obaseki is is backing up. Obaseki is backing Oshemole. But aside from that, the grievance between. Amosu and Okorocha because Oshemole replied them that, see, the, uh, we should follow, we, there will always be winners and losers when it comes to everything in life. And that they should follow the examples of Buhari and um, President Muhammad Buhari who lost the election three times and still went back in again. That they shouldn't feel that they must grandstand and always have their way mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. politics. Let things be, let, let things happen time after time. And Okorocha also replied back saying that um, I'm not running a family empire. <laughs> you have your family members in government right now in, um, um, in um, Edo State. I was mentioning him. So the back and forth. It's just well, a, the point the is that the government have always had so much, so much power. Yeah. And it seems like Oshomali is trying government. to bring a change. Yes, yes. To which is people not are resisting. Yes. That's, what, that's what it is, basically. So Olu and Abadi are really, really smiling on this front page. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> That's politicians. The election of the They're all in this Lagos. It's just Oh, Lagos will not kill me. <laughs> all right. Daily Sun, very quickly, alleged fraud. EFCC to extradite Alison Maduike. Yeah. APC primaries of Shamali Takas and Mosu and Okorocha. Why we search articles jets, says federal government. How I killed Bademosi, says Togolese cook. 
IPOP would entertain dialogue or compromise, says Namdekanu, insists that Ohaneze is banned for life. Okay, so as Ali is... Well, the EFCC is saying that they want to ex they are they are working on extraditing right. Alison Madriki well with regards to okay. the corruption charges leveled against her because there has been calls that she should right. be repatriated back to the country right. so she can face the charges and also the 7.6 billion naira that the federal government has you know retrieved and all right. of that so that is what it is the FCC mm. is saying that they are working on okay. extraditing so her. I think it's been on the papers for a few days now mm. yes. yes it has so I have a story there so Koto Guba no the 65 year old man who died oh man 65 dies making love to girlfriend and that's the kind of story you have <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of story <laughs> Have. Okay, oh, go ahead, okay. please. Oh my <laughs> God! Five year old man. This was is died. Monday, Moriah. Yeah, this go is ahead. not fair. Yeah, so okay, no go fair. Ahead, go ahead. I'm taking it very personal. All right. <laughs> okay, so this man died while having uh, sex in a hotel room with his uh, girlfriend, a 34 year old mm. uh, lady. According to the story, they've been having that affair for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And then when he died, she snuck out of the hotel mm -hmm. room because she oh. she really didn't understand what was happening till the police caught him. So they are he, she's been arrested right. now. They are investigating. To I really think the young ladies happened. must understand that. Listen, if you want to engage with an older man, mm. check his BP first. Uh -uh. Be sure ask for his medical report because you don't want them to come. Hey, they're going to put your name in where anything can happen. You, anything you can happen. And mother. don't let them take drugs. Don't induce that thing. So yeah. just be sure of his medical status. Mm, exactly. He's signed here. The man has to sure. be yeah. 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 sure. You should sign. make sure he is okay. First. Yeah, but you are to, 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 to protect yourself. Yeah. Let him let sign. Yeah, because this lady documents. now would have a court case. Of course. Ah, of course. Yes, definitely. Well, God, I am sound and clinical sign it. And let's do. So, moving on to Vanguard. Yeah. Storm yes. over search of Atiku's plane by security men. You guys didn't read Atiku's plane? No, we yeah. did. Yeah. We, we did, did actually. No. Okay, we'll then let me take a few more stories. By, uh, my government succeeded because I assembled technocrats, says Obasanjo. Hmm. As a strike, claims of 350,000 naira and 500,000 naira tuition fees is untrue, says Babalaki. Okorocha launches fresh war against the Shomali. Why Ocean Governorship Tribunal was moved to Abuja appeal, says the appeal court. And EFCC moves to extradite Tezani Alison Madriki. So, okay. Bakonje was speaking um, at. Um, Let's take Atiku's plane, I beg first. Yeah, yes. so so you, I had the story. Wait, okay. you, can, you can go, go ahead. ahead. Well, we, knew, we all know that he went to Dubai to have him strategize mm -hmm. uh, for the 2019 elections. And then when he returned, he was this, the EFCC, you know. Went DSS to, actually. Your DSS, yes. rather, sorry, went to you know search his uh, plane, and then there's been reactions from the PDP, I and Atiku is saying that this is trying to intimidate him. Yes. He actually tweeted. Yeah. He tweeted that listen that they, 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 they just came and searched him, and he feel that it's because of they are trying to intimidate him. And I'm wondering. It's, uh, and so the then the the the, the, is traveling. The, the federal government is just is saying that this is just a routine, routine check. If it is routine, it's, it's, it's he won't routine. be surprised by it because yes. it's not the first time flying with his own private jet. He has a jet for a long time. Yeah. So the fact that he's speaking up about it is because it's been ongoing. I mean, it, it's never happened to him before. Right. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, he's a candidate. You're not searching his plane when he came back. So DSS can be searched. Well, at any point. Yes, yes, please don't search article because it will be looked at as witch hunting. Leave mm. him alone. Oh, yeah, what are, what are yeah, so Master Joe, <laughs> um, pre, uh, former President Master Joe was speaking that his government was successful because they assembled a group of technocrats that they didn't just bring in. It, there was no, it wasn't the, um, nepotism. They didn't have issues of just bringing in their friends. Mm. He brought in technical people to fill in the positions. Mm. People who that was knew the know-how. So, yes, wow. that was wow. interesting. interesting. <laughs> mm. You know, Nigerians have short memories. Very, Very short. short. We say this now. Just like, oh, right. That's true. No, no, it's true. not, Mr. Vassman. remember. Let's go on a break. When we come back, hmm, the latest and hottest topic in town, Banky Wellington is running for office. Stay Yay. with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> How cocky. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So it came to our notice that the Nigerian superstar, Bankole Wellington, popularly known as Banky W, has finally joined the League of Celebrities that are into politics. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, he announced his candidacy for the seat at the Federal House of Representatives. How are the Nigerians are reacting? What are your thoughts on this? Join the conversation at 70 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. So we're asking today, how capable is Mr. Capable? <laughs> right, ladies, what do you think? What, what, what came to your mind when you saw this post? 
for a bank. It was I was shocked. excited. I wasn't shocked. You weren't shocked. I wasn't shocked because okay. in recent time, Bank he's been w throwing, has been, yeah. mm. he's been speaking. speaking up. Yeah. Right. He's always been an eloquent person. I'm, I was happy that he started speaking up for what he felt was right, speaking up against the injustice within our environment. He's put himself out there. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, he now took up. It didn't come as a surprise. I wasn't surprised. I felt that, okay, he had, he had plans for his life. Right. Right. Has that, that positioned him in the minds of Nigerians? In your view, what, what are his chances? Do you think he has a good chance? He's or? up against a huge challenge. I'm not saying that it isn't right for him to come. Anybody can test the waters. But this, for me, is possibly a blueprint for 2023. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. It's good. Test the waters. Know how it feels. Warm, hot, cold, whichever right. way. Amen. Know how to re-strategize. Because the next question on the minds of people, does he have the structures? Mm. Does he have the numbers? How popular mm. is your party? I like, that you, hang it, let me, I, I like that you said that. Because <coughs> the, the truth is, should we begin to move away from structures, popular parties? Do you think, as young people, those are the predictable elements to, to determine who becomes the next candidate. But should we as young people say, you know what, regardless of structure, popularity of your party, or who you are, because I believe in who you are, mm, should I, I vote for vote you? Should for I, you. I as, a, as, as a voter, to change my mindset? That exactly. is what it's supposed to be, Mariah. Right. But that is not what it is. Mm. Because the way our politics is in Nigeria right. is built, it, it, it has to do with, you have to have the structures, yeah. you have to ride on someone's yeah. back. Hmm. Those are riding on people's back. I don't know how far they've gone, but let me come to you, Because <laughs> well, we've seen everything. quite a number of celebrities who have, who rode on a few parties, and popular happened, parties. Of I'm not saying major You need to put changes. the interest of your godfathers right? before you, and that has affected our politics over the years. So for me, I was excited that he was coming out. And he wasn't just, you know, coming out to contest for presidency. Like you hear a lot yeah. of people just, okay, let's go to the top. We can right, make a change right. from the top. He decided to come for, you know, work within his um, community, yeah, he go his inside grassroots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Really yeah, no, because no, grassroots is local government, mm. ward chairman. Yeah. He, he, I know okay. grassroots is local government, but then House of Reps is still okay for a young man. It's he, federal House of Reps, not, not, a, not state. Not this state. is federal. He's going to federal. His level. mates are going for presidency. That's my point. Okay. He, you, so you find your level. We all have our level. You might decide to run and decide to go for, start from the Senate. It depends on where you think you can function mm -hmm. effectively. So mm -hmm. I am happy that he is looking at the vision he has. Right. He might not have the political track record, but the people that have had so-called political track record, what have they brought to the table? Let's look Look at the personality of the person. Okay, involved. let me throw this out there. Do you think Nigerians are ready to close their eyes to uh, track record? Close their eyes to what has he done in his constituency? To listen, I like this guy. He seems like a, a, like a good guy, and I would like to vote for him because seems he just like seems a like a natural leader. He looks like a natural leader. So, do you think Nigerians have gotten to that point? I, I I feel that we haven't gotten there yet. We still need to suffer a bit more before we realize that <laughs> what is wrong with more us. More suffering than this. Yes, we yes we need. I think that when Nigerians suffer a bit more, they will realize the power within their hands, yeah. and they will take ownership of holding people accountable. That's the long-term solution. However, I am happy that Banky W is speaking up because we've had many politicians, uh, many celebrities that refuse to speak up because of their partisan interest in where they get money from. Right. They, they are the ones performing at campaign grounds at parties that are hosted mm -hmm. by these politicians. So they will not speak Bagam. up against them even when they are staring at abject poverty. So Banky W has Some thrown of them may himself. Not even vote for him. Yes, they've, they've thrown himself, he's thrown himself out there that I believe in my country, I want a better country. And he has numerous track record because people are saying, what has he done? Guess what? He came back to Nigeria after studying abroad. Exactly. He built a business here. An he picked artist. up somebody called Whiskey, turned Whiskey into a superstar. He has done well. So he has track record. Your excellence in little qualifies you for excellence in much. So mm. if he has done well in the little that he has been exposed to, he can decide to go into office and going represent his people. Better. Going so into true. the issue of What's the track record party. of the person that is speaking Because the party is, I've never even heard of this party. This is a new party. It's a new party. party. It's not as if he just decided, just coined that in his bedroom. <laughs> but I'm thinking, do you think that can work against him? The fact that he's not a popular party. Because yes, we like Bank W, which we feel that he's a good guy. He feels Mr. Capable. Maybe he should have actually attach himself to a more popular party, probably that will give you a better platform. Do you think, Veronica? I, I agree that in the climbs that we find ourselves, mm -hmm. because of the party he has attached himself 
worse. It may not, it may not. Right. If, but if they had been reacting to certain key issues, we mm. could hear them, we could see them, we could feel their ah, pulse. Right. Perhaps it will work better for them. There was a lady, Chidima, I think, that wrote yes. a, um, uh, a letter, a yes. letter to, to Frank was saying how he actually came to get his PVC yes. and walked in with his friends, celebrities, and they did not there. he did not acknowledge and the people. Listen, that that wasn't what happened. Listen, and he has replied. Yes. Yes. But you see, he, I mean, if you have read his response, for those of you that haven't read his response, the lady was, uh, was saying that you came there, we're all there in the sun since morning, as a celebrity you walked in there, you cannot feel the pulse of the average Nigerian, so yeah. why would you want to leave? And his response is, listen, he had actually made previous plans with them at the officials to come with several celebrity members, uh, celebrities, for that, but unfortunately, that morning he was trying hard to, to gather everybody to, to come mm. to show up. So when he came mm. in that day, he was already frustrated. Mm. So you can understand, but you see, these are little things to respond. Yeah. Yeah. People so, will not understand that. But you see, Veronica, the point I'm trying to make. The office will frustrate you more. Is mm. this how you, you react? So, so let me let the me point talk about your make, question. The point I was trying to make, mm. Veronica, is. Do we need leaders like this who own up to responsibility? Like, you know what? Oh, I have please. goofed. Of course. And then, because half of our leaders don't do that. You complain, and the actors didn't even see you. Agreed. You, but they're saying if something that little can frustrate you, that's what I'm saying. Right. Everybody has a push button. The office team. is a huge responsibility. Right. Mm -hmm. Will you keep reacting to your frustrations? Regarding the party structure, okay, point I strongly believe that currently in the current, this 2019 that we're doing, we still need political party structure to be able to win effective election. And you have to, for you to go into leadership position, you have to be able to work with other people. When you become an House of Rep member, one person, you need a majority. You need to be able to converse mm. and work in a group. Mm. So mm. if you are unwilling Numbers. to work with party structure, when you become a member of the National Assembly, uh, how would you work with the group point. there? Yeah. Let me take this call from Lakwe from the UK. Lakwe, are you there? I'm here. Thank Thanks you Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Morning. Go ahead. Yeah, you guess well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we back in W is a youth, and we will love somebody of no nobody to come there mm -hmm. because lots of youth now with this uh, social media, they are the one putting they are they are exposing them on their WhatsApp, on Facebook, and these are the people we need. Right. We don't need somebody because you know about Sojo, you know Tinubu, or you know Buari, so or you know Shiomole, or you know Abosu, or you know anybody. All these people, some are still what they are doing in the UK, buy houses. Not mm. just that, <coughs> not that. people are suffering, people are dying. Mm. I saw the video of boy that, that, that was shown. Mm. Thank you very much, Lakwe. Fantastic point, yes. So there's a revolution going on right now, <coughs> young people saying that no matter, we don't really need that political cloud behind us. Yeah. We can make a change. Yes. We have the numbers. Yes. So, and that is what he is tapping into. Right. And if we really want a change in the country, we need to do uh -huh. away with all those godfather regimes exactly. and all those uh, partisan politics. We know that the, for now we need the structure. Right. But let's see what happens. Let's start. If we all yeah. come yeah. out and vote, we can yeah. take yeah. a few tweets. Yeah. says, yeah. nobody is capable until they are. But unfortunately, nobody cares about individual. It's the party. It's a good thing. But his chances are extremely low. That's from Jermaine. D and David says, I believe Banky W knows the daily struggle of Nigerians and I wish him success in his political career. Okay, so we have to run up. But I think, okay, if Banky gets in there, just like you said, mm -hmm. he might not get anything done because he's, a, he's obviously a tiny, tiny minority in the house. We need more people. Yeah. But eventually, it's a starting point. Somebody's got to start it. <laughs> so all the young people can say, okay, Banky got there. Got I can there. also declare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, encourage him. Yes. And let's, um, let's support We're him. Happy. So congratulations to... Mr. Capable, Banky W, and his wife, Adeswa. <laughs> you cannot congratulate the man without congratulating his wife. <laughs> All right, let's go on a break. When we come back, Asu, what's the latest? Because many mothers and fathers are complaining that their kids are still at home. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we just can't ignore discussing ASU's strike. Our students are presently still at home, wondering when they'll graduate. Our guests have been enlightening us on how realistic ASU's demands are and where we are on this issue. Joining us is the chairman, ASU Unilag, Dr. Dili Ashiru. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag you have your TVC so we can read your tweets. Right. Um, we've been talking ASU. I mean, everybody's been talking about ASU for the last one week or two. But there are lots of parents out there who are totally clueless on what's going on. We know about an agreement last year in November with the federal government, the fact that the government, the government did not 
uphold their own side of the agreement. Where are we today? What exactly is the issue and why did us go on strike? So that people, mothers and fathers out there, can have a clear understanding mm. what is going on and where we are. Well, the issues in the agreement has to do with, one, the fulfillment of the terms of me memorandum of action. Yes. Which government entered into with yes. ASU last year. Yes. In 2012, we had the memorandum of understanding. Yes. It didn't work. In 2013, there was another memorandum of understanding. It didn't work. So last year, there was the agreement that we should move away from memorandum of understandings to memorandum of action. Okay. Could, you, could, you re could you recap what those things yes. are again very yeah, quickly? And the memorandum of action is that one, government was going to inject 220 billion into the education sector right. for revitalization right. of equipment <coughs> and infrastructures in the university. Second is to renegotiate right. the contentious 2009 agreement. Mm. The third is to release the report of the forensic audit into various universities in Nigeria and consequent upon that report, pay academics arrears of their end academic allowances. Okay. And that for that they were going to provide a platform where our union will be able to interact with state governors, because you find a situation where gov a state governor will have a university he cannot fund, and then abandon that to establish a new one. Right. We thought that that's not in the interest of Nigerians, right. and consequently, we needed a platform to discuss all of this with the state governors. So as Aso has brought that up again, where, what's the government saying concerning this? Where are they on this? Is it that they've not met any of it at all? Or have they come to negotiation table to say, okay, this is what we can do right now, hang in there for us? Well, there has not been a comprehensive right. call okay. for negotiation by government. However, you will recall that by the time we started agitating to go on strike, government says it has released 20 billion. Okay. And if you compare 220 to 20 billion, right. you find out that it's a far cry. The 20 right. billion was before the strike. You know that there was a release. The 20 billion was about um, th like three weeks ago. And they, they, there were two funds, one for us and another for um, retired um, th um, the airways workers that had not been paid their pension Seven, since. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that money is not for us. Mm. It is the 20 billion. In mm. fact, the minister had come out mm. to correct that in his latest right. um, address mm. shortly after we commenced the mm -hmm. strike. That, the, that, that 20 billion mm. is the 20 billion on top of the 220 mm. that government ought to have released since last year. And that 20 billion was to go into, you know, revitalization of decaying infrastructures so in the okay. universities. I'm even more concerned because it seems to me like the federal government, the ASU, they are not sensitive to the plight of the Nigerian students because the people you, you are really fighting for are the ones who are suffering the most. Every year, if you go through the university system, you know how many months you are at home and there is no school. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because is there no other way? You can reach your agreements and have your understandings without necessarily resulting to strike actions. You see, this strike, contrary to your opinion, is about the students. All of us keep talking about students that are either half-baked or that are not baked at all. Right. Mm. Asu is saying that let us produce graduates that are internationally, globally competitive. The way to do that is to provide the right enabling environment for these students to learn. And we realize that both students and lecturers are partners in the business of knowledge production. And therefore, if ASU says we, we want to minister to our welfare alone without bottling about our students, you find out that in no too distant a future, there will be nobody to take over from us right as lecturers, and that is why we keep insisting that education must be accessible. And the government proposal to also hike fees in Nigerian like universities, yeah. if it is allowed, more than 70% of the 
of the students in our universities today mm. will not come back to the school. Right. Well, the chairman of uh, the negotiating committee has said that um, there are no plans to hike the fees and that um, what the committee is agreeing to is to have a student loan, a student bank where they can access loans to fund their education that the federal government cannot do this alone. Well, you see, the chairman of the negotiating team, Dr. Wale Babalaki, is actually the one that has brought us to this point. Really? Oh. Yes. It's causing problems. Because, one, he feels that whatever he says on the negotiating table should hold sway. Mm. As well as, an, as a union of intellectuals will not accept that. Okay. And then the question of the question about education loan bank. The education bank is not a novel idea. It's not original to Babalaki. It has been muted in Nigeria before. It failed. Mm. And like other specialized bank banks in Nigeria, for example, we have the agricultural bank. How many farmers can access loan from the agricultural bank? Right. We Difficult. have the bank of industries. They are all the small scale and medium enterprises cannot access loan from these banks. What is it that will make the education bank different? different? Not only that, the proposal with the education bank is, for example, if you got a million, if a student got a million from the education bank, 70% of the money, according to Babalaki, will be paid to the bank and 30% to the student. Now, the student will be so indebted that he will begin to pay that loan when he gets a job. The question is in Nigeria today, hmm. if you got a loan to go to school, What's the guarantee? several years after, what is the guarantee? You get a job. And in some other societies where the education bank system is in, is, 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 is in practice, right. you find a number of young people committing suicide. Okay. It's, it's, it's on the net, you can, right. you can check it out. All right, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation with us. So stay with us, we're right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. Before we went on the break talk, we had a question, yeah. So, um, obviously, you were not the first person we've had to, to ask questions concerning ASU, and the recurring issue had been that the person you're negotiating with isn't who you feel has your interest or willing to come to the middle ground. So rather than going on strike, shouldn't your campaign be that, let us have someone who wants the best for us to negotiate with, mm -hmm. change the strategy from who are we talking to, and then before thinking of going on strike, because this strike people are assuming, are saying that it's because you heard that labor is going on strike and you feel they are going to settle labor. You people now said, let's quickly go on strike because when they want to share this money, <laughs> you should reach us <laughs> in ASU too. Mm. And a lot of people are saying that's what happened because yeah. it wasn't, it was just out of the blue. Mm. Well, that, that opinion is not correct. It's not correct because uh, we rose from our neck meeting in Calabar mm. four months ago. Mm with a decision mm. to begin to sensitize Nigerians, the media, you know, labor, you know, all the sectors of the Nigerian society mm. about the plight of education mm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And we have also written to the minister, honorable minister of education, informing him of our desire to meet with him. Okay. We held several meetings with the minister. We wrote several letters. We have lobbied, sent all manner of emissaries, emir, traditional rulers, think of it, all hmm. failed. So the only option hmm. is the strike option. And right. it's working. Right. Because the day we went on strike, we declared strike on Sunday, 4th of November. By 5th Monday, the minister was on air hmm. addressing the nation, which he failed to do. <laughs> Four months ago, right. when you know, the when we withdrew from the right. negotiating table, Let me come we to went me. straight to his office. Mm. But Veronica, go ahead, please. Okay. All right. If you are having this back and forth and you haven't got a tangible result, how far is Asu willing to go? And then, what would be the middle ground 
for this? Where, how, how, where do you see um, the decision or you come into an agreement with the government and then calling off the strike? Let me pause you for a second. I've been, Chudu's been holding for a while. Chudu, are you still there? Yes. yes Sorry, yes. go ahead, please. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Please, I, I want to uh, 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 ask Mr. Dele, please, and uh, you and your colleagues. You see, these leaders, they got education on a platter of road from the missionary. They never wanted anything good for Nigerians. Hmm. Their children are not in this country studying. Hmm. Their children are abroad, so they are not losing anything. Mm. But we parents are feeling the pains. Mm -hmm. I can understand you. The only language the government will understand is strike. strike. And if you don't give it to them, mm. you are not getting anything. But you people should please look at the, we, the poor parents. Our kids, uh, our children are at home eating our food. Right. Demanding, <laughs> making requests, writing uh, uh, bills for you. We are not finding this better for it. Please. Of okay. Course. Thank you very much, Chidi. So you, you, you see, I just want to appeal to parents. There is no gain without a pain. Okay. And we cannot restructure a society if we don't want to, you know, inconvenience ourselves. Inconvenience ourselves. We just need to understand that all of this effort is to make the university system better in Nigeria. But the government doesn't have and money. And also to put pressure on government. Because you see, yes, students will stay longer than necessary in school. Mm -hmm. But also when they graduate, what is, what is this? So yeah. how, long are you, is this going to, how long are you guys going to go on this, like the question I asked, yeah. Yeah, to ensure see? there comes, there is an agreement? They say Richard. they don't have money, sir. No, they That's have money. the problem. Last month, Mm. Polaris Bank was bailed out with 800 billion. From where? Ask government. <laughs> Between 1999 and today, the federal government of Nigeria mm. has spent 1, 1.3 trillion bailing out banks. Mm. And those who collapse the bank are working freely mm. in Nigeria. So, right. sir, so, but I heard that the uh, federal government hasn't initiated any dialogue since the strike started. This is just about Th a week that now. That is correct. How long do you think they are going to take before the, you guys meet? It's, it's the same as it's the, the, the usual It's the usual pattern. The first one week will be okay. in denial. Oh. The second week that we're entering now will be to coerce our well, leaders. Course, are too willing to go. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to round up on this. <laughs> you have a quick tweet? Yes, Tosin says, I believe ASU should have formed itself into a lobbying group where they sponsor representatives to the National Assembly to promote their interests rather than this disruptive strike. It's pre work says, our government are so insensitive. Their kids are, are abroad. <coughs> Education banks, yes, but this is a government that hasn't done very, that has done very minimum on their parts. No difference. Keep licensing private institutions. I'm a Nigerian student, but this strike is necessary. All right. Well, unfortunately, we have to round up. But mm. thank you for helping us understand and clarifying mm. the side of us. So we'll try to see someone from the Ministry of Edu Education or from the Minister of, um, of Labor to well. help us understand. get a better, a better understanding of the part of the federal government. But I think if we don't leave with anything, is that we have to ensure that the, the demands ASO is making, at least there's a, there's a negotiation going on, yeah. mm. and we get to that's some kind of middle ground. Yeah. Mm. And that's at least so that the kids can go back to school. All right, that's all we can take on the show today. Hope you learned quite a bit as we did. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.